Okay, great. Uh, Levin, Levin Reed, followed by Mike Reese. Go ahead, Levin. First and foremost, Nikhil, it was great to see you guys out there on the practice field. How did it feel to get out there on the practice field together instead of doing things virtually? It felt good, you know, just to finally be in person, you know, get back into the to the normal routine a little bit. So, you know, it felt felt great to get back out there today. I know you you you've been guys have been in and out of the lineup, whatever it be for COVID or injuries, but to have Steph, to have Cam, to have some of the more important pieces of the team, how did it feel to have them back? Um, you know, it's great to have all those guys back. Um, they're they're a big part of this team, and uh, they help a lot of us out there. Uh, so it was it was great to have them back as well. Okay, we'll go with uh, Mike Reese, followed by Chris Ryan. Go ahead, Mike. Hey, Nikhil, how you doing? I'm good. How you doing? All right, I'm doing well. Um, sort of to build off your last answer, like, is how much is Cam? the type of person that like, once he returns to practice, like you almost don't even need to, to see him to know he's there. Well, yeah, you know, he's, he's, he's a very vocal guy. Uh, he likes to have fun out there. Um, so, you know, kind of, kind of brings back that mood, like that fun kind of mood out there. So it's, it's been good. And how much Nikhil did you feel that energy today? Um, you know, I think everybody had, a good amount of energy today just because uh, I can't really speak for everybody else, but for myself, I was, I was very excited just to get back out there and um, you know, that, that could have been the case with everybody else as well. So that, that could be a reason as well. Okay. We'll go with that. Uh, Chris Ryan followed by Mark Daniels. Go ahead, Chris. Hey, Nikhil. Good to see you. Um, just wondering what the last, you know, two weeks have been like for for you and all this instability that's kind of surrounded the team. What's it what's it been like and and how have you kind of gotten through um, some of that instability with the group? You know, it's 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 been a little bit different, uh, a little bit unusual, you know, just having to do virtual a lot and you know, not being in person, but um, at the same time there's no excuse. Uh, coaches have been doing a great job making sure uh, we stayed ready for the Broncos. We're staying ready for the Broncos. So um, even though it's a little bit different, the focus has still been there. Chase Winovich was mentioned. There's been a lot of introspection for for him and some time to kind of take a step back. And Coach Belichick was mentioning that um, there's been a lot of individualized aspects of video. And I'm, I'm curious for you, you know, have you been able to evaluate and think about what's gone well, not gone well so far this year during this time period? And, and what have you seen? Yeah, definitely. For me, it's not too different. You know, I, I think a lot after games, um, whether we're doing Zoom calls or we're in person, you know, um, I'm always thinking about the game. As soon as the game's over with, I I'm, I'm automatically start thinking about it. I, I can't sleep too much on the plane because I'm always just I'm always just thinking about the game and thinking of stuff I can do better, um, stuff I did pretty well and, and, you know, just thinking of stuff that could that could help me improve. So um, the way I've been thinking hasn't been too much different or anything like that. Thanks. Okay, we'll go with uh, Mark Daniels, followed by Doug Kide. Go ahead, Mark. You'll, um, obviously, notice that you're you're home right now. Um, are you guys still having meetings virtually right now? Are they sort of limiting your time in the facility? Yes. So how how different has just the schedule been this week, and how are you adapting to it? Um, like I said, it's just been real unusual. Uh, just not being there at the facility doing meetings and you know doing film pre and post practice, but um, you know, like I said, you know, the focus has still been there. Coaches have been a, have been doing a great job making sure, uh, you know, we're ready to go whenever this game happens. Yeah, are you basically guys just in the state in the stadium for weightlifting and then you know practicing outdoors? Yes, as of right now. Um, thank you. Okay, go with uh, Doug Kive followed by Greg Bedard. Go ahead, Doug. Hey, Nikhil, I know the, the bye week probably didn't come at the best time for a lot of guys, but you had been dealing with, I think, a minor injury before that. So were you able to use the bye week to, to get back up to full health? Yeah, definitely. Just a uh, couple of days we had, you know, I just got off my feet a little bit, make sure I was still working on my body, um, you know, recovering a little bit. So, um, you know, it's definitely been good just giving me a little bit of time and, and getting my health back to where it needs to be. Thank you. Okay, go ahead, Greg. Hey, Nikhil. Um, hey, I was just wondering, on a personal level, when you're sitting around watching NFL games, um, 
like this week, do you see guys from your draft class like AJ Brown, DK Metcalf, you know, sort of having, um, you know, a really good stretches of play? Do you ever sit there and wonder like why it hasn't happened for you quicker as as those guys? No, I can't compare my situation to anybody else. Um, just like DK can't compare a situation to AJ, and AJ can't really compare a situation to DK. We're all in different positions, so. Um, when I sit there, you know, I'm I'm extremely happy for those guys. Um, I was training with them pre-draft, so I know how much work they put in, and and you know, I I have a lot of respect for the way they grind. And um, you know, I've never been the type to kind of just sit there and kind of say why hasn't that happened to me. You know, I know I'm in a in a different situation, and you know, I'm gonna just uh, every day go out there and and work on ways to improve, and you know, stay patient, trust God's timing is, is my philosophy. Philosophy. Are are you frustrated at all that it hasn't happened quicker for you? Or are you good with um, your developmental pace? No, you know, um, my mindset is doing whatever coach needs me to do. Uh, at the end of the day, I'm not too worried about, uh, you know, personal stats and, and, and stuff like that. I'm worried about getting the win. I, I hate losing. I hate losing more than I love winning. So that's, that's, that's my number one goal is to win the game and do whatever I can to help us win the game. <laughs> Okay, I see uh, Levin has his hand up again. Levin, do you have another question? Just real quick, how did doing all this virtually um, keep you guys together at a time when maybe, you know, when this you, you guys should have been apart? How much did doing it virtually keep you guys kind of on the same page? Um, you know, just, just at least talking, you know, being together every day throughout, the, throughout all this, you know, it, it, it has helped a little bit instead of us. Uh, going our separate ways once we leave the facility. Uh, we have uh, one more question, Mike Giardi. Go ahead. I thought Aaron was going to ignore me there. I don't know. Uh, I it said that. MG. I didn't know who it was. Uh, that's, that, that hurts me a little bit. Uh, <laughs> didn't have your full name. <laughs> I, I don't even know how to do that. Well, whatever. Nikhil, I don't want to waste your time here. <laughs> I'm just curious. Um, AJ Bouye was back at practice the last couple of days, and I know he hasn't played, uh, I think, the entire year. Do you have to go back and look at him from previous years to sort of get a gauge on the kind of player that he is, or do you just not concern yourself with who's across from you and just do your thing? No, yeah, I definitely got to go back and, and, and watch some film. Whatever film I could get, I got to go back and watch. Um, no, you can't just go out there and take anybody lightly. It doesn't matter who it is. Um, so I definitely got to go back and, and uh, try to study on him a little bit. Have you, have you, I'm assuming you've already taken a peek at him and what, what are some of the things that he excels at? Um, I haven't got to watch him in depth too much yet just because we don't really know his, his status. Yeah. Um, but you know, he looks like a solid player so far, so I got to be ready. Thank you. Okay, guys. Thank you, Nikhil. And, uh, guys, Justin will be here at, uh, 4 30. Okay. Thank you, Nikhil. Appreciate it.